everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the sound system demo on the 2022 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross and its 8-speaker Mitsubishi Power Sound System. This is going to be an end-up review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio adjustments, audio controls, speaker locations, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and we're going to get out on the road and listen to these sample tracks so we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. If you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to get to the music, click ahead in the video, we've got right to the tunes. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes and if you don't want to hear the same music choices week in and week out sign up to become a daily motor member we've got custom audio tracks and uh, kind of just a little bit to shake things up so you get to hear something new and we get supported before we get started top out take a look at this thing this is the top trim of the refreshed eclipse cross compact crossover sel here rocking all-wheel drive and some pretty aggressive looks so, so, some good things, some not good things, but definitely a lot going on with this Eclipse Cross. So if you do want to see more on it, check the links in the description. we got a highway fuel economy test and a DM test drive. Now, we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system. And high-quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. Let's take a look at those now. A fairly low resolution, but very effective touchscreen here in the Eclipse Cross. We're on our audio screen now. You can click right here to get to sound. You've got front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. A tone section. We actually have to balance some of those out now. Treble, mid-range, and bass. We'll go through those in a moment. An equalizer, which gives you rock, pop, hip-hop, country, and normal. We'll go through those soon, too. A surround mode. You have this Premedia wide. And that kind of just gives you uh, a little bit more of a surround kind of 360 experience. Let's see what default is. Default is off, so I guess we'll leave it off. And other, you've got Premedia HD, so that's a little bit of a DSP, digital sound processing, kind of raises the uh, sound stage, if you will, makes it sound a little more dynamic. And then a speed compensated volume, so the volume will get louder as you get driving. We'll set this to default as well, and I believe that'll turn off the Premedia HD. So let's go through and sample all those different adjustments. Hold that down, really. You don't give me a little seek bar. I'll just back up the track a little bit to get through treble and range of bass. different ways to tweak to your audio preference in the car but we're going with as the uh, Mitsubishi designers intended just stock base settings for audio controls in the clips cross you've got a nice volume knob here good clicks easy to grab and you have volume on the left side of the steering wheel track selection you can use the touch screen you can use this rotary knob or on the left side of the steering wheel as well back and forth like to see it right by the volume adjustments Four audio inputs in the Eclipse Cross. You have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, an iPod uh, selection. I don't know why that'd be any different from just USB, but it does say iPod. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. No wireless, just wired. No USB Type C, just USB Type A. And that's about it. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack. No disc player, and as I said, no wireless CarPlay or Type-C. So not the end of the world, but it'd definitely be nice to see wireless CarPlay and Type-C in a refreshed 2022 model like this. 
Speaker locations. Now, I did say this is an eight speaker system, and I believe them that somewhere there are eight speakers, but I cannot for the life of me find them. The only thing I can think is that maybe in the back, there's some really small tweeters uh, fit into the speaker grills, but I looked into all six speaker grills and I could not find the seventh and eighth speakers. I don't know where, they're not here, they're not up there. There's no subwoofer. So I'll show you where the six speakers are that I can find somewhere. There are two more speakers, but I have no idea where. So bottom left, you've got one, two, three, four. And then if we hop out right here, you've got five and six. And I mean, these don't sound, like there are two speakers in there. It just sounds like one speaker. So I don't know where they're hiding those last two tweeters in this SEL trim, but it says there are eight speakers on the Monroney and on the website. So take it for what it will. All right, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Let's go to Android Auto first, or sorry, Apple CarPlay first. That's what we got plugged in. Let's see, it comes right up. Not the highest resolution, but fairly responsive. You got your music and your maps setting screen and your home menu okay android auto there you go android auto you've got ways coming up right away you go to your home screen see your different apps and then uh let's bring up youtube music come on there we are youtube music it actually does take a little while to load some of these things and then where's settings settings right there cool well let's get this thing out on the road and listen to some more tunes
pinpoint what's really at fault with the system, if it's the tuning, the, the you know, the, the factory settings, or the speakers themselves, I think it's a combination of both. The, the only thing that's decent are the high end. I actually kind of like the sound stage in front, even though there's no center speaker, the two wide ones there are doing a pretty good job. So the, the mid the mid highs are actually pretty good, but everything else, the bass is way too boomy, the, the lower mids are coming through too strong, and there's not really that crisp high end. So you really hear that all coming out in this song. And as you can tell, the, the factory settings for bass are way too high. And you're gonna find that out here on the next track. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on, we're just gonna have it at uh, stock EQ, and then about quarter way through, we'll pump up the bass all the way, see how it sounds. speaker Mitsubishi power sound system here in the 22 Eclipse Cross. Just, just the <laughs> Again, the weird EQ decisions for, right, from the factory. I mean, that's what the sound engineers decided sounds best in here. Those are weird. The, the bass is coming through way too strong. If you tweak some things, you can make it sound a little bit better, and certain music is going to sound much better than others, but you can tell when you turn up a complex song get it playing on here things just aren't fixed right that is giving it a d rating here for us uh, i mean it is nice that it's got a few usb ports you got android auto apple carplay although for a 2022 model it would really be nice to see wireless carplay and android auto so yeah i mean for 34 grand like this thing is it's not horrendous but you could certainly do a lot better that being said, there are other merits of the Eclipse Cross. If you do want to see more on the car, check the link in the description for our highway fuel economy test and our DM test drive. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive.
drive on.